Okay, so we've got our New Zealand hops. There's, I split a uh, 100 gram bag uh, packet into three portions, equal portions. They are actually equal, believe it or not. Um, and there's my third portion, which is 33 and a third grams. Here's my fermenting vessel. There's my beers, and I'm about to dry hop it. So, here we go. That's done. See them all floating in there? Well, that's dry hopped. And I'm only actually leaving it for five days, not ten like I originally planned. I spoke to a few brew brew guys on the uh, JTB network and um, they advised me that after seven days of dry hopping you sort of you start to pull things out of the hops that you don't want so anyway there we go well Hope you can hear me. Uh, if not, I'll have the voice over, I suppose. Today I'm going to, it's nine days in the bottle. It's a little bit uh, premature. Nine days in the 1.5 litre bottle. It's my Black Rock um, IPA dry hopped with 33 grams of Cascade hops. Now let's this is eight, uh, nine days. If you listen to this, it's not too bad. Could do with another week, but uh, I just can't wait. And we'll pour it up. It's a fairly healthy sort of a head and I don't know if you can see it's carbonated rather well. The head's dissipating fairly quick, which is to be expected considering it's only nine days in the bottle and it's basically a kit, well you've seen on my other video, a kit and two kilos um, USO5 yeast, dry hopped after nine days fermenting and uh, for five days and so it was a two-week fermentation it would uh, see what's on the nose you're definitely getting floral notes um, the, the cascade is is obviously there it's not overpowering it's not overpowering, it's it's just, to me, for my particular taste, bang on the money. Anyway, I'm not going to sit there and sniff it and sniff it and try and dissect what notes and aromas and things are coming off it. I'm just going to get on with this bad boy and taste it up. Just enough Cascade hops in there. It is, it is damn good. I mean, I am so pleased with it. It really turned out well. Okay, my next, I probably probably won't be putting a video up, but my next, for anyone curious out there, my next uh, batch, which I've got over there, is another Black Rock IPA. But I'm going to use 33 grams of Centennial because um, I've read a few different things about Centennial and it's basically Cascade's big brother. Oh, 
on, let's get this bad boy down us. That, that is fantastic. You, you just, you know, it's, it's enough hops to, to, to take my homebrew extract kits to the next level. You know, it's just, I'm sold on it, you know. I'll be very surprised unless I can't get Cascade or Centennial because they're a, they're a good hop for an IPA as far as uh, what I've been told and what I've read, what I've seen on YouTube. Um, Cascade and Centennial. I've, I have got Golden Hops, but I think what I'm going to do with them is a, maybe a stout. Maybe I might do a stout and dry hop that. Never know. Oh. Anyway, this experiment of mine turned out perfect. Cheers and drew good beers. 17.